Good evening. ¿Qué pasó? ¿Por qué pausas en la clase? Good evening. Vaya. Good evening. Good evening, César. Good evening, how are you? Uh, I am sick. Ay, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. Tengo un dolor de cabeza de los mil demonios ahorita que tal vez. Solo porque... Ya somos dos, eso. Solo porque soy responsable, estoy aquí, no porque. Sí, exacto, me suena un analgésico. Sí, ya, ya voy a ver qué tomo, pero. Sí, no. En inglés. Oh my God. <laughs> Right. Algunas veces un café ayuda también. Sí, un café cargado. Hello, guys. Hello, hello. Aunque no le quito Coffee. el sueño. Hello, teacher. How are you? No, hello. No, a mí hello, no me quito el sueño el café. Ah, pues. How are you, guys? Good evening, teacher. Good teacher. Fine. Good evening. Good evening. It's a, a great pleasure, guys, to see you. Um, You know, because it's Thursday. And uh, how is the motivation going on today? Good. Excellent. How do you feel? Tell me about it. Tell me about it. How do you feel today? Good? good. That's good. Yeah, that's right. Good. And also because weekend is that's coming. Right. Weekend is coming. So we feel, you know, really excited, you know, to start this class. And also... And we feel really motivated for this one. So, guys, uh, tell me about it. So, how was your day? It's work hard. It's uh, it's um, sick. Okay, so that's right. Let's start today with the class. And also, I just want to ask you guys about the last class. What do you remember? Tell me. Give me an idea about what we did. I just want to know what we did in the class, guys. Was perfect. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, do you remember when do we use the past perfect? Hello. What what is the past perfect? I need a volunteer to tell me. Teacher, we use the past perfect for this reason. Okay, I need a volunteer. You can check and the first one, let me know because imagine this is the first test. Me, teacher. Excellent. We, we use the past perfect for an event that occurred before another event or time period in the past. That's right. Thank you so much. So as we were saying, we use the past perfect to talk about an action that was happening in, well, in that case, uh, they started in the past and finished. So we use the, uh, also these structures, the past perfect. So we will have a short backup for this class today. And I need your help to practice, okay? So let's just start because it's a review. And also we go on to the next part. And the next week we will uh, practice. And also we will practice a uh, kind of a uh, audio. So I'm gonna share with you guys a link. So one second, please. What we had to do is a, a similar activity like the last time we developed. It's what I want you to do. I will share by this uh, chat, the link about this exercise. You will listen twice this conversation and you had to complete the sentences. For example, the man needs a suitcase too 
you listen and you try to answer it. And then the man borrowed 504 and he got a payday loan because it was interest rates for payday loans can be. And also actually you can check this part. Entonces me dicen si lo, si lo, si pueden ver el, el enlace que les compartí. Look at the chat here in this, in this meme. Yes. Si pudiera enviarlo al chat de WhatsApp. Mm, no lo pueden tomar de acá o alguien que lo pueda compartir al grupo. Somebody that can send it to the group. Hello? Okay, so I will give you some uh, a time to listen carefully and also uh, listen and, and then select the best answers. Thank you so much for sharing that to the group. And we will try to practice. I want you to focus about the pronunciation and also what they are saying. So Elvis, ready? Ready, teacher. Excellent. Thank you so much. So let's take this time. And when so when you're ready, say finished. Let's go.
Okay, students, all, almost ready? Or not yet? So tell me about it. Yes. Yes, ready, teacher. That's awesome. So let's see that. Well, so uh, I just want to ask you because I'm a little curious. So tell me, how was this conversation? It was clear they spoke fast. How do you feel about this conversation? It was clear to you to understand or how it is your experience? Is that difficult to you? Yes, for me. Okay. Any other comment? Any other comments about this conversation? So tell me about it. Hello? So any other experience about this conversation was, was clear to you or was difficult to understand? It's difficult. For me, teacher, teacher the final, no, o sea, la parte final me costa entender. It's very fast. They, they spoke fast. Yeah, I, I understand it. It's like a little bit, you know, challenging depending on the conversation. But this, no matter, uh, this speed can help you to improve. So I, I guarantee you that if you practice more and more and more, this conversation will be familiar to you because you will be like, um, you know, it will be familiar to you to work at that one. So I can recommend you that, guys. So let's try to answer the following part or complete the statement. So that I need your help for that one. And we go with the first one. And uh, number one, what do you have for the number one? Who wants to help me? Can we go on vacation? I'm sorry? Yes. Go on vacation. No. Yes. yes. No. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So in that case, it's really important, especially because I mean, do you need vacations? Yes. We need vacations. I need it. Need vacations. <laughs> I need too. It's <laughs> it's a dream. Everyone okay. there. <laughs> yeah, that's right. So we need that. So take that into account. I told you, make plans for vacation because it's important. Okay, number two, demand for five hundred dollars for for what? Car. Yes, car. that's great. So also a new car too. Number three, what do you have for number three? The mumble roll. I know. Number three, the he got a play day loan because it's what boss. Okay, yeah, so it's much better for them in a payday loan because it's fast. So that's mean that the person receives the money fast instead of follow other procedures or sometimes it's fast for them. Okay, that's great. And look at the next one. Um, number four. Interest rates uh, for paydays loan can be more expensive than personal loans from the banks. So in that case, the interest rates for payday loans can be uh, more expensive. I'm going to be honest with you, it will be more expensive for people. And the last one, the last but not the least, what is the last one? I think it's money from the family, from his family. Okay, this is the last resource, right? You are looking for some money, you go to the bank, you cannot get it, or a personal loan, and you go to your family and say, okay, I need your help. I need that you can borrow me some money. So in that case, uh, the man is going to pay back the loan by borrowing money from his family. Okay. 
because he was saying like, you know what? Well, I thought I would sell my mountain bike or my comic book collection or you could give me the money. So we're talking about that. So I just recommend you guys to work at the listening part because it's important. After listening for some time, um, also you can also learn by listening, you know, fast conversation or, or slow conversation. So you, it will be easy for you guys. Well, congratulations for the word done. Let's continue with the next part of the class. And also is, is a great chance to do that. Okay, we have a conversation between two people. We have Brian and Kathy. So we would request to uh, Brigitte. Hi, Brigitte. Are you there? Sure. Hi, Happy teacher. Brigitte. Okay, I'm Brigitte. Here. I, I want you to help me to uh, read the following um, conversation, and I will need the help of Elvis. Elvis, you will be Brian, and Brigitte, you will be Kathy. Yes. Okay. okay you can do it, Elvis. You can do it. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Emerson. Okay. Hasta pollo tiene. Hasta tiene su barra ahí. Hey, that's good. <laughs> that's nice. Okay. That's very interesting. All right. So let's let's listen, and I want you to focus about what the conversation is about. So you can tell me, teacher, what I understood about this conversation is that they were talking about. So you can give me an idea. What was the conversation about? Let's go. Okay. Um, someone stole my wallet last night. Oh no! What happened? Well, I was working out and I had put my stuff in my locker, just like I always do. When I came back, someone has stolen my wallet. I guess I forgot to lock the locker. That's terrible. Did you lose much money? Only about fifteen dollars, uh, but I lost my credit card and my driver's license. What a pain! Okay, that's right. So we can check, guys, the, this conversation, and also tell me what is the conversation about. Who wants to break eyes and tell me, teacher? What I understood about this conversation is that they were talking about, so who wants to say something about it? The most important things um, about the man is lose, lose his um, driver's license and credit card. Okay. Yeah, because he, he was like a, a, a little a la, a lack of money because he only got $15. I mean, for Americans, $15 is nothing. It's like to having $1 in the back. So it's not a big deal. The problem, as you said, it was the credit card and also the driver's license. That's why he says, what a pain, because he didn't expect to have a situation like that. The question is, have you experienced a situation that you have lost your wallet or your bag or handbag? Have you experienced a situation like this? I do not. Teacher, okay. how do you say multa? Uh, it's like a, a fine, a fine. Look at the chat. Fine. Yes, it's like this. You had a fine? Yes, uh, and... with my um, driver, drive? License? Driver list. License. license, driver license. Yes, that's what a pain. Yes. Oh yeah, Only what that. a pain. But I. Mm -hmm. 
and you lose the money or or, or you lose money um porque llevaba dos años que no que no bueno no no fue la licencia sino fue la la tarjeta de circulación, circulación. del carro sí Entonces, llevaba casi dos años de no pagarla y no pagué un montón Yeah, so bad. What a pain. Oh, awful. Yes. Okay, so, the, you know, things like that happen sometimes. We are, like, very busy that we forget some details like that, but it's important to have updated. Okay, thank you, Raquel. Okay, someone else had an experience like that that had lost your wallet or something valuable, like a cell phone? Yes, teacher. And how was it? Hello. I lost my, my wallet too with all my papers inside. Uh, but they returned them to the door of my house. Y tuve que darles una recompensa. A reward. A reward. Yes. Tw 20, 20 bucks. And did you and did you get the the wallet? Somebody yes. gave it to you with all my paper, uh, the driving license, uh, the weapon license, uh, two driving licenses, the motorcycle, and the and the, the in my car, two. Uh, did did you find it? Did you find it or not? Yes. Yes. Say yes. Awesome. Well, lucky you. Because, you know, paying for everything, getting these papers back will take some time. So you were lucky to, to get them. Yes, very lucky. Yeah, very lucky. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's right. It sometimes happens like that, right? You forget something. I remember that I have lost, that I, I, I thought that I lost my, my wallet. And I was looking for my backpack, my bags, and I didn't find it. And I have a lot of papers, very important papers, you know, everything. And I was like, my, my also credit card too, and some other uh, Visa cards and some other cards. The thing is that I was looking for it and I was like, oh my God, I don't have it. How is that possible to lose it? And I was so hurry that day before uh, leaving home that my wallet was in my bedroom. And I was scared because I thought that I have it with me when I was in my, my job. And thanks God, uh, the wallet was in my bedroom. If not, I would have had some troubles. But sometimes you go you go to work very hard because of the traffic and some other things and you forget some stuff. But things like that happen all the time. So that's why look at the pictures. The man is like a little uh, angry. Uh, look at his face. He sees like a bad... Uh, a bag with some stuff in the pictures because he lost his wallet. So that's a, that's a terrible thing. Okay, any questions or comments related to the vocabulary that we see here? Questions about the vocabulary? Equations, right? Uh, what What's the meaning and uh, no, expression? What a pain! It's like saying uh, "so sad" because when you say, you know, I'm so sad, what a pain, or that hurts, eso duele. Como decir, ay, qué mal. Uh -huh. es quemar o decir eso duele. Okay, thank you. Also, another meaning to yes, to complicate it. Okay, so let's continue with the next part. And we, we had a review about a past perfect that we studied that we use past perfect for an event that occurred before another event or time period in the past. So that was like the topic that we were socializing. And also we have this part that we had to complete the sentences, use the simple past or the past continuous with the verbs in common. So in that case, we're gonna go on to the next one. And that is actually this one. And 
using the past perfect. In that case, what we had to do um, is that we had to write a equation using the past perfect. Remember that we were saying that the past perfect, I had gone to Mexico, yo había ido a Mexico. My brother had played video games. Mi hermano había jugado videojuegos. I had finished my, my meal. Yo había terminado mi comida. They had um, played video games. Ellos habían jugado videojuegos. I had cleaned the house. Yo había limpiado la casa. Y veíamos oraciones utilizando el past perfect. Vamos con esa estructura que en este caso usted tiene que escribir o completar la pregunta utilizando the past perfect. Vamos a ver con la primera. ¿Cómo podría ser la primera? Nos da day to read. ¿Cómo sería? Look at this one. They have read. Red. Uh, it's a question. I think um, have read the, the instructions. Exactly. So we can see that when we ask a question using the past perfect, the first thing that we need is to add a past a had at the beginning of the sentence. For example, had they, uh, had they read the instructions and leído ellos las instrucciones? Entonces vemos cómo cuando es pregunta, el had va al inicio. Bueno, entonces va al inicio had y luego el complemento. The instructions before they switch on the mobile phone. Y vemos el signo de interrogación porque es pregunta. Entonces nos quedaría, had they read the instructions and leído ellos las instrucciones. Vamos con la número dos. Think about it. What is the number two? Help me with that, please. ¿Cómo sería la número dos? Has, has the girl to learn? Had the girl to learn? Mm. O solo el learn. Yes, el tú no va porque es, es el, el tú es como para, digamos, para presente. Entonces, had the girl learn. Mm, eh, girl learn a new word before she takes yes y ahí el complemento right and had the girl learned the new words ha aprendido la chica las nuevas palabras y luego el complemento new words uh, before she text her friends and also we have this one entonces vemos que para pregunta el auxiliar had siempre va al inicio luego va lo que es el sujeto y luego va el complemento. Veamos la número tres. ¿Cómo sería la número tres? A day ring. Vamos a ver. A day ring. Uh, uh -huh. And the complement, the office before they drop away. No. Actually, it was, it was good, right? So, in that case, in the, the passive ring is Ooh. like run. So, the wow. past participle. Entonces, el pasado participio, en este caso, cambia en este caso. Um, y lo vamos a poner acá. It's the simple past, the participle form. En este caso, sería así. Lo voy a escribir acá. Para decir que si ellos han, eh, let's see, have they run the office before? Y ahí está, miren, el, el participio en este caso sería run. Can you check the statement? 
Yes, yes, teacher. Excellent. Help me with the number four, please. Um, remember that for this rule, what we need to do is to know the verbs in the past participle form. Vamos a ver. Número cuatro. ¿Cómo sería el número cuatro? How this would be? Number four. What has Lucy done? Had. Okay, look at the chat. What had Lucy done before? And she turned on the TV, right? ¿Qué es lo que Lucy había hecho antes? Entonces, por eso dice, what had Lucy done before? ¿Qué es lo que Lucy había hecho antes? Y luego dice, uh, she turned on the TV. ¿Qué es lo que había hecho antes de encender el televisor? Entonces, vemos ahí la, la estructura, right? Utilizando the past participle. Vamos con la siguiente. Number five. Vamos con la número cinco. What's the meaning of update? Update is similar to um, improve something. Could be technology, could be a product, could be a service. So we update. It means that we get a better version of it. So we say in Spanish like actualizar. Um, mm -hmm. Es que en el listo de verbos no lo tengo. <laughs> yeah, included. In that case is the update. Eh, ¿Cómo sería entonces la número 5? Ayúdenme. Uh, a Walter. Uh, Walter pero okay. es que update en, en, en pasado participio no sé cómo se dice. Ad Walter. Update. Update. Uh, updated. 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 Mm -hmm. What? How Walter. Mm -hmm. Yes. Updated. Yes. Oh. Oh. Can you check that, please? Oh. Had Walter updated the software uh, before so he switched? In that case, would we'll be like, había Walter actualizado el software? Entonces ahí nos dice, había Walter actualizado el software? So in that case, you can see. For the number five. Vamos con el número seis. Number six. Sería, what uh, she had found... Before she ran away. Mm -hmm. ¿Cómo sería? What, what had what had she found there? Found. Found. Yeah, found. Okay. What has she found before she ran away? What has she found before she ran away? ¿Qué había ella encontrado antes de que escapara? Ya que la palabra runaway significa huir, escapar, irse. So, we run away. Y vamos con las siete estrés. Les voy a dejar ahí para que completen ese ejercicio. Siete, ocho y nueve. Y luego vamos a compararlo juntos. ¿Ok? Meanwhile, I need to um, add the charger. Voy a agregar mi cargador to my laptop. Just give me one second, guys, please. Okay.
¿Y por qué están tan callados? Hablen. Emerson, ayer quedaste pendiente con, con la historia. Ay, me callé. <ríe> creo que sería buen momento. Yo creo que Karen, este, Raquel ha estado practicando mejor que yo todavía. ¿Verdad, Raquel? Ay, no. No, no. Yo calladita mejor ahorita. <ríe> Okay, so let's see the last statement here so you can help me with the number seven. So what do you have for this one? Can you help me with that? Number seven. It could be, had Tim cut the onions before he hurried to the window? Before he hurried? Okay. That's right. So in that case, we will say had had team caught, right? And also the complement. And the number eight. How how would be the number eight? Yes. What had you served here before? Mm -hmm. Okay. Had you served before? Had you served had you served um, here? And also the compliment. Look at the chat. So it will be like this one. Had you served here before? And also we can see this example. And the last one, number nine. How Peggy talked. Had Peggy talked. Uh huh. Like this one. Look at the example. So in that case, will be had Peggy talked to, to Lisa before she prepared dinner. So you can see here the past perfect as the structures. Look at this. Any questions or doubt about the, the equation part? I have a question. Uh, could we use this this kind of of tense in a negative form, but to to ask questions, for example, oh. uh -huh. yeah, okay, uh, yes. For example, had and I uh, eaten something today. Exactly. So when you ask questions in the in the negative form, the goal is to use hadn't or had not. Or had um, not, yes. But most of the time, in mm -hmm. in questions, it's not so common to use had not. Okay, that was my question too. It must it's much better to use hadn't. Hadn't you gone to the English class? Mm -hmm. Hadn't you completed the homework? Hadn't you finished the report for tomorrow's meetings? Mm -hmm. Hadn't she traveled to Mexico after all? Hadn't they the, uh, enrolled for the English course? And you have some questions about it, right? So that's uh, something interesting. Thank you. Okay, so look at the following exercise here and I, because I need to make sure that we have a clear understanding about this one. So what we had to do is we're gonna try to answer this one. I want you to um, complete these exercises in groups. So look at this one. What I want you to do is try to change in the past perfect, complete the sentences with the past perfect of the verb in brackets. Use contractions where possible. Kevin, go home 
by the time I arrived. En este caso, ¿cómo podría decir yo que Kevin había llegado a casa? ¿Cómo sería la estructura? Yes. Kevin had, had gone. Excellent. Had gone because it's the past perfect of, of go is gone. Okay, so I want you to take a picture. No sé si alguien puede mandar una imagen al grupo. ¿Alguien que diga yo? Me. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. Ok, les voy a dar unos minutitos para que lo puedan completar. Y luego lo desarrollamos juntos. Yes. Let's go. Así que... Tengo un segundo en lo que le tomo captura. Ok, perfect. So, also it was sent to... Oh, ya lo mandaron. The WhatsApp Oye, group. Lo mandó. Yeah, it was sent to the WhatsApp group. Okay, meanwhile, you do that one. I'm just going to stop sharing the screen because I need to check the attendance list. So, let's take a time for that. Okay, students, we will take a time to and um, answer. Uh, you listen your name and you say present. One second.
Okay, let's see here in the list. We have two. Uh, Brigitte Lisset Erasmo. Brigitte. Present teacher. Thank you. Carmen Guadalupe Camilla. Present teacher. Thanks. Cesar Alexander Ramirez. Present teacher. Thanks. Dina Elizabeth Flores. Present teacher. Thanks. Edith Araceli Guzmán. Present teacher. Thanks. Eduardo Alexander Díaz. Present teacher. Thanks. Elvis Aníbal Rauda. Present. Present. Thanks. Uh, Emerson Alexander Mejía. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Eneida Jamilet González. Present teacher. Thank you. Uh, Jaime Roberto Aldana. Jaime. Present, present teacher. Okay, there. Uh, Javier Ernesto Lucero. Present. Uh, Karen Suleima uh, Ciseña. Present. Um, Laura Michelle Arce de Aguilar. Present teacher. Thanks. Uh, Maria Catalina Correa. Maria Catalina. Uh, Marvin Fernando Marcel. Present teacher. Eh, Morena Guadalupe Fuentes. Present teacher. Eh, Oscar Alberto Rodríguez. Present. Raquel Arely Santos. Present teacher. Thanks. Eh, Santiago Antonio Chávez. Present teacher. Ok. Eh, Sara Nalda Guzmán. Present teacher. Thanks. Ok, thank you. Ok, si alguien tiene el ejercicio me dice, teacher, ya los tengo todos. We still have some time, don't worry about it. But by any chance, if you have any questions, so you can also, you know, say, teacher, I'm ready.
Okay, students, well, because of the time, we're going to try to, in less than three minutes, we're going to try to answer each question. So you can help me to check and um, try to answer it. The number one, it says that Kevin, go home by the time I arrive. What do you think could be for the number one? Kevin, had gone. Had gone. Excellent. Kevin had gone home, right? Because the past principle is gone. El decir que él había ido a casa. Look at this. Number two. Aiton suddenly raised that he had left. Had left. Yes, had left his laptop, right? So in that case, yeah. number two is had left. Había dejado su laptop. Okay, number three. Mom was annoying because I... And I, I have not cleaned. cleaned. Okay. Look at this one. And and I hadn't cleaned or I had not cleaned. Es decir, que no había limpiado. I hadn't cleaned or had not cleaned. In that case, you can see the example. And look at the number four. Look at the number four. And... That's it. Had they, had they, they, they started? Started. Okay. Had they started? Excellent. Number five. Look at this one, and look at see what's going on. We were hungry because had not, eaten. not eating. Excellent. Because we hadn't eaten. Es decir, que nosotros no habíamos Bueno, no habíamos comido. Entonces, como digo yo que no habíamos comido, we hadn't eaten. And the number six. Look at the number six. My phone didn't work because... Because I hadn't charged. I had not charged. Yes. I hadn't charged it. That's right. Entonces, dice que no lo habíamos cargado, por eso es que no le funcionaba, ¿ok? And that's this one. Number seven, why didn't, didn't you want to watch the film? Have you, have you seen it before? Ok. Had you seen it before? ¿Ya la habías visto antes? Y en inglés digo yo, had you seen it before? Y ahí vemos eh, la respuesta de ese. Y vamos con el número 8. Sally was embarrassed because she... Look at this one. Um, the possible answer. Tell me. Had forgotten. Had forgotten. Forgotten, yes. Has forgotten his that very days. That's right. She had forgotten. Es decir, que ella había olvidado. Y así, eh, el pasado eh, perfecto es eso. Yo les dejo como tarea que investiguen. Eh, investi investiguen. The verbs in past participle. Por ahí creo que habían mandado al grupo eh, un vocabulario, un enlace donde ustedes pueden buscar estos verbos que son muy comunes y la clave es memorizarlos. Y ya cuando conozcamos estos verbos, será para nosotros mucho más fácil el poder estudiarlos y poder usarlos en oraciones, especialmente en el pasado perfecto. Okay, do you have a question before we conclude the class because of the time? Do you have a question or doubt? Or any comment? No? No, teacher. Okay. No, teacher. No question. So I want you to practice, keep, continue practicing work with exercises, study the verbs, and I hope to see you the next class, the next week, also the last week for this course, and I hope that it's going to be a great experience. So guys, have a beautiful night to all of you, rest, recover energy, and see you the next week. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. All of you guys. Good night. Thank you.